Hello guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how to make a troll face edit on CapCut PC. First, open CapCut on your PC and create a new project. Import the video clip you want to edit by clicking on the import button and selecting your video file. Drag your video clip to the timeline. Next, we need to add the troll face image. If you don't already have one, you can find troll face images online. Download one and then import it into CapCut the same way you imported your video. Drag the troll face image onto the timeline above your video clip. Create a freeze frame in your video by clicking this freeze button. Resize and position the troll face image. Click on the troll face image in the preview window. You can adjust its size and position by dragging the corners and moving it around until it covers the face in your video or is positioned where you want it to be. Next, we will add some effects and filters to enhance the edit. Go to the Filter tab and search for Black Gold Filter. Set the filter intensity to around 55. Now we will go to the Effects tab and search for Rebound Swing Effect. Adjust the strength to 10, size to 5 and the speed to 100. Make sure that the effect only covers your freeze frame. Next, we will search for another effect called Black Flash 2. Add this effect to your timeline and set the twist to 0, strength to 100, size to 20 and speed to 100. Finally, add some audio. Import a fitting audio track by clicking on the import button and selecting your audio file. Drag the audio file onto the timeline and adjust its position to sync with your video. When you're happy with your edit, click on the export button at the top right corner of the screen. Choose your desired resolution and settings, then click export to save your video. That's it. You now know how to make a troll face edit on CapCut PC. If this tutorial helped you, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.